This is the children's Sunday school lesson for November the 1st in 2020. Let's pray. Dear Father God, this is a hard lesson. It's a scary lesson, but it's probably the most important Old Testament story there is. Help the kids to get the idea. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so we've been talking about how Father Abraham had that one special, special only son that was born when he was 100 years old. His name was Isaac. He loved him so, so, so much. As much as your mom and dad love you. He really, really loved Isaac. And one day, God said, Abraham! And Abraham said, here I am. And God said, Abraham, I want you to take your son, your only son, your beloved son, and I want you to go up to the land of Moriah, and when you get there, I'll show you a mountain, and you take that boy of yours up on the mountain, and you give him back to me. You sacrifice him. Sacrifice my son. Son. Okay. And in the morning, he took two young servant boys and his son. He took a pile of wood. He put some, some coals down inside of a metal pan that had a handle on it so that he would have fire to burn the wood. And he took a knife. And he started off on his journey. And the whole time he's traveling to Mount Moriah, he's thinking, God's asking me to sacrifice my son? How can I sacrifice my son? I've waited all these years for my son. I love my son so much. How could I give up my son? It takes three days to get there. So they probably slept overnight in the woods or in the desert, three different nights. And on the third day, God showed him the mountain he wanted him to go up. So Abraham said to the, to the two young servants, you stay here with the donkey. He said to Isaac, here, I'll put the wood on your back and you carry the wood up the mountain for us. And I will carry the knife and I will carry the fire. So they started up the mountain together. Abraham's not real excited about what he's doing, but he is obeying God because we obey God's voice. And he starts up that mountain and Isaac said, Father, here I am, Abraham answered. Father, I see that we have the wood and we have the fire, but did we forget to bring a lamb? What are we going to sacrifice when we worship God up on the mountain? And Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb. He will provide the lamb. So they get up to the top of the mountain and Isaac probably helped his daddy make the altar, piled up the stones. And then they took the wood and put it on top of the altar. And then Abraham did the craziest thing. He tied up his son Isaac and he laid his son on top of the altar. And then he took a knife in his hand and he was going to kill his son and God screamed out of heaven, Abraham! And Abraham stopped. He said, put the knife down. And Abraham was so happy to put the knife down. And God said, you have passed the test. The test was if you loved me more or if you loved Isaac more. And you love me the most because you were willing to obey me and even give up your only beloved son. Now look over there. And there was a ram with his big horn, and the horn was stuck in a thicket, in a sticker bush. And 
right away Abraham untied his son and they went over and they got the ram. They killed the ram and put it on top of the wood and they burnt the ram as a sacrifice to God. And then God promised Abraham that he was going to bless him and make him a father of many nations. Now why it's the most important story is this. Every little boy who was born from Abraham's time the whole way to Jesus' time thought, oh my, it would be the worst thing to be sacrificed by your father. Every daddy and every mommy in the Jewish nation from the whole time of Abraham till Jesus thought the hardest, hardest thing to ever do would be to sacrifice your one and only son. There would be nothing harder for a parent than to give up your child. And then one day, a father really did give up his only begotten, only beloved son. Do you know who that was? It was God. God gave up his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. He did the hardest thing in the whole world just because he loves us. God loves us. And the memory verse is for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and it comes out of John 3:16 can you say it with me one more time for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Let's pray. Oh, dear Father God, I am so glad that you didn't really make Abraham sacrifice his son, but that you set it in as an example that the hardest, hardest thing on earth to do would be to give up your only son. And then you did it. You gave your only son and put him on the cross and let him die for our sins. Thank you for loving us that much. In Jesus' name.